Ooh, that's some pigment. Oh, God. Hi, I'm Michelle. Today, I'm gonna do my very first ever look with the Natasha Denona Mini Bronze Palette. This is what the palette looks like. You've probably already seen this palette before. It has been out for a little while. I picked this palette up from the Natasha Denona website in September when she had a Labor Day sale and I picked it up for $23. The current rate for these mini palettes is $27. So that was a few dollar savings, which I know doesn't sound like much, but I picked up like, I don't know, six or eight maybe <laughs> during that order. So it was nice to have a little discount. Anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes and get started with a look, and then I'll share my first impressions with you on this palette. So I've got my eyes primed with my MAC Paint Pot. They're currently drying down just a little bit. I don't set my primer with any kind of a powder or anything. That's what the eyeshadow is for. So it's really cute. I'm gonna start off with this really, really light matte. I feel like it's gonna be darker than I'm expecting, but <laughs> let's get started. I'm just going to put this lighter mat in the front part of my crease. So that's where we're at so far. And I'm going to take the same brush and go into... Alright. <laughs> I'm going to go into this shade here. It's going to make it a little bit orangier than I was thinking. But I think it'll look pretty. Sorry if you can hear my dog snoring behind you in the room. He's really, really old <laughs> and he has a short snout, so he snores when he breathes when he's sleeping. Ooh, that's some pigment. Oh, God, this is a beautiful, like, pumpkin-y kind of a color. This is a beautiful palette. I should have worn this on Thanksgiving. This is so beautiful. Ooh. I really like that. Look at that. That's really a beautiful, rich, deep color. Wow, that is blending out so beautifully. Look at that. Wow. I'm not usually a fan of these really, really warm tones, which is why I didn't jump to get this right away. I think it was probably just this color story. I'm not really drawn to warm colors, but <laughs> this year I've really warmed up to them. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> yeah, anyway. I've really warmed up to warm eyeshadows this year, which I know it doesn't sound that revolutionary. Most people wear warm tones, but I've never liked them on myself especially. So I actually didn't even like them on other people, to be honest. I just never understood why people wore these colors. <laughs> I'd just be like, you could have chose any color in the world and that's the color you went with. That was the sentiment I had. But now, I, I don't know, now I'm starting to gravitate towards them and now I kind of get it. I haven't even done anything with this middle shade yet. I'm going to put this one here on all over the lid except for the inner, inner area, because I'm going to reserve that for the shimmer. Might be the brush that's not giving the best payoff, because this is not a natural haired brush. I just love the shape of it for this. I wonder what a natural haired brush would pick up like on this color. I'm not really going to find out though because this is the shape that I want for my lid. Sorry if you can hear my doggy going in and out of the doggy door. I feel like my eyeshadow looks come together very paint by numbers. <laughs> okay. That's where we're at so far. So now I've used 
three of the mattes. I just have the darker one to go and the shimmer. So I'm going to take a little blender and I'm going to go into this dark shade here. This is the darkest shade in the palette. I'm going to put this right out here in my outer corner just to smoke it out a little bit. <laughs> my dog. I really do like the way that looks. Hi, baby girl. Did you do the pee pee outside like a good girl? She's a good girl. Good. Mama will be done in a minute. <laughs> okay, here's where we're at so far. Really, really like the way that is coming together. Gosh, I did not expect to like this that much. And I don't want to go in with quite as thick of a brush for the lower lash line. So let me get a small pencil. I'm going to get a little bitty natural hair pencil, uh, pencil brush into this same dark mat. I'm going to just run that across the lower lash line about three quarters of the way in. That's so pretty. Okay. Honestly, I like the look just as it is. See, here's here's the eye look. On I would rock it like this. I mean, maybe I would blend a light cream matte into the inner corner, but I'm gonna use the shimmer. So let's do that. I'm a little concerned because I really don't want fallout all over my face. Let's just see. It is Natasha Denona. It shouldn't be bad. Ooh, that's really creamy. I don't even think I'm going to wet that. Let's just see what happens. I'm going to try to keep that focus just here on the inner part of the lid. It's not super impactful. That's really like um, low key. I'm gonna spray the other one on the other side and let's see what happens then. Let's see what it does wet. <laughs> That's what he said. Okay. Uh... I do notice a little bit of a difference, a little bit in the shimmer when it's wet. It's a little bit more impactful when it's wet. So now let me do the other eye. Yeah. That's pretty. That's the look. I'll be right back with some eyeliner and mascara to show you the completed eye look with the mini Natasha Denona bronze. So here's the finished look. I really like it. Let me know what you think down below. What I used to finish it off is my Hindash liquid liner, which is about to be thrown out and decluttered because it's coming up expired real soon, if not already. Um, my About Face shadow stick, which I like to use in my water liner. Might be time to throw this one out and replace it as well. Um, and my new bottle of the Bad Gal Bang. So that's what's on the eyes. And of course the bronze palette, the mini bronze palette. <laughs> and I went in and topped off what I had already on my lips with my MAC Taupe. This is my second use, but it does look a little bit lighter because I had already gone in with mac in meh <laughs> meh and this is my second use for this one too i lined my lips i lined my lips in mac stone jesus michelle 
topped off the look just a little bit with um, a very light layer of the Maybelline Lifter Gloss on my face today, in case you're curious about the details of the makeup, I I mixed my NARS and my Pat McGrath, trying to get some use out of these, even though they're, you know, not both ideal. Um, went in on top of this primer, because I'm trying to use it up. Did use my Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer. Set my whole face with my number seven in light. And as you know, the eye look was the mini bronze. So that's the look. That's all I've got for you today. Let me know what you think of the look down below. I would love to hear from you. This, by the way, is day one of my Vlogmas. So expect to see a series of my five pan palettes coming up for the next couple of weeks. <laughs> so yeah, here's the finished look. Let me know what you think down below. I really like it. I like it more than I thought I would when I saw the color palette. When I first saw this color story, I was not interested in all. I have yet to use, is it even out? No. I have yet to even use my Natasha Denona Midi Bronze. I've had that palette maybe six months, I think. I need to use it. The color story just doesn't draw me. But now that I'm starting to get open-minded to warm tones, even orangey shades, but this is not an orangey color. It's more of like a, well, a bronze, <laughs> like a, like a coppery bronze in my opinion, which is a very fine line. And it's a very fine line distinction away from like the oranges, but it isn't exactly orange. It's a little bit more copper. It is really beautiful. I like the way it looks, especially with my brown eyes. I think it's really flattering for the fall. This is not a color story that I personally would wear in the summertime because I do feel like the colors are a little bit more fall-esque. For me, if I'm gonna wear orange in the summer, I like them to be really poppy, bright orange, but that's not to say that I'm not at least gonna be open-minded to trying to wear this in the summer. Yeah. So I did use all the shades and I'm really excited that I finally got to play with this pretty palette. So yeah, great. My husband's blowing his nose in the background So that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click the thumbs up button. It really does help my channel out so much. Don't forget to subscribe to hang out with me again, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!